An innocent bystander was killed in crossfire between Somali nationals and a tuck shop owner over a rent dispute. And in Mamalodi, residents warned that should an alleged child rapist be released on bail, there'll be big trouble in the township. Good afternoon. I'm Stephanie Botma, senior journalist at the Record Newspaper Group, taking a look at today's top stories. Gauteng Community Safety MEC, Sizakelin Nkosi Malubani, has visited the family of the police officer who was gunned down in Attridgeville on Friday night. The deceased, Constable Ronald Baloi, was a police officer at the Lordium Police Station. His alleged killers were arrested on Sunday afternoon at the Bosman taxi rank. Tapelo Moeloa, spokesperson for the MEC, said the Gauteng city region was in the process of establishing a task team of senior officials to examine the recent spate of police killings. Edgars has apologized for confusion caused by the appearance that price tags have been tampered with in some Edgars stores, including the branch at the Morlet Reds in Vieda Park, Centurion. Its parent company, Edcon, denied that some special promotions were preceded by price hikes and explained that although Edgars had to increase the prices of selected, selected merchandise, the perception that price increases were implemented just prior to promotions is incorrect. A representative from Edcon told Record it was important for any customer to ensure they paid the legitimate price allocated for the garment or product. A Mabapani woman has been shot dead in a crossfire between Somali men and a tuck shop owner over a rent dispute. Police spokesperson Constable Petunia Shabangu said four Somalis renting a tuck shop at Skirlik section, Mamupani, were involved in an argument with their landlord on Sunday night when a shootout ensued and the 45-year-old woman was caught in the crossfire. The community held a vigil outside the tuck shop waiting for the other Somalis to return to collect their belongings. The shooter was expected to appear in the Sushangue Magistrates Court on Wednesday. All hell will break loose should bail be granted to a suspected Mamelodi child rapist, angry residents warned this week. The upset residents made their feelings known when the 38-year-old Somalian man, accused of kidnapping and raping a five-year-old girl at his Mamelodi tuck shop on August 4, applied for bail in the Mamelodi Magistrates Court on Monday. It is believed that the minor went to the tuck shop to buy bread when the accused allegedly invited her inside and raped her. The bail application was postponed to Friday and he remains in custody. That brings us to the end of today's bulletin. We'll bring you more Capital City news tomorrow. Be informed. Read record.